Hi viewers, welcome back to our channel, Easy Way to English. Today, I am going to continue Unit 1 Modern Literature, Chaucer. So far, we have seen Chaucer's biography and his poetic career. Now, we are going to see important poems. The first important poem is The Complaint and to Pity. The Complaint and to Pity is noted for seven line stanza rhyme royal the complaint and to pity is noted for seven line stanza rhyme royal the book of the duchess this is an elegy on blanche charles's patron john gant's wife the book of the duchess is an elegy on blanche blanche was the wife of john gant who was the pattern of Chaucer? Form octosyllabic from one to next Italian period. Influence of Petrarch and Boccaccio is seen in Chaucer's imitation. Italian period. Influence of Petrarch and Boccaccio is seen in Chaucer's poem. Poems Trilus and Criside. The Parliament of Fouls. The House of Fame Poems Trialus and Criside The Parliament of Fouls The House of Fame Fourth poem The Legend of Good Woman The Legend of Good Woman Trialus and Criside is derived from Plastrat of Boccaccio Trialus and Criside is a poem derived from Plastrat of Boccaccio the Parliament of Fouls. It's written in 1382. The Parliament of Fouls is written in 1382. The uniqueness of the poem lies in medieval genre of bird and beast fable with bird and beast speaking human language. The uniqueness lies in medieval genre of bird and beast fable with bird and beast speaking human language. The house of the poem, the house of fame is the poem written in 1384. The house of fame is the poem written in 1384. This is an imitation of some more features of Dante's Divine Comedy. The house of fame is an imitation of some more features of Dante's Divine Comedy. The Legend of Good Woman. It's an it is an incomplete poem. The Legend of Good Woman. It is an incomplete poem. It is the mastery of heroic couplet. It shows Charles's mastery of heroic couplet. This poem, the House of the Legend of Good Woman, is based on Boccaccio's. Mullery Bari. The poem The Legend of Good Woman is based on Boccaccio's Mullery Bari. The poem is about nine famous women of history. The poem is about nine famous women of history. English period The Prologue to Canterbury Tales is based on Boccaccio's Decameron. The prologue to Canterbury Tales is based on Boccaccio's Decameron. Here, the poet represents the cross section of England of Charles's time. Here, the poet represents the cross section of England of Charles's time. The prologue bestowed on the poet twin, twin titles. The prologue bestowed on the poet twin titles father of english poet and father of english novel father of english poet and father of english novel so far we have seen modern literature unit 1 about charles's biography and charles's poetic career i hope this video is helpful to you don't forget to subscribe the channel.
Thank you for watching this video.